Hi Andrea. Hey Zee. How are you doing today? Feeling lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so, I am I was very famous on social media for being an Emar guy. You know, I was very like so to the extent where a lot of investors were like, "Oh, you only deal with Emar, you know?" <laughs> And I started getting a little worried. Because I started losing a lot of investors, and I think I lost a lot of investors to Demac. I know. In a f- I know. <laughs> oh, oh yes. <laughs> you made something that, guys, like the mark gonna sell with you or without you. <laughs> so, so this is a funny point. So Andrea, how we got into connection is because I had an investor from where's Christoph from? I forgot Switzerland. Belgium. Huh? Belgium. 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 So I had an investor from Belgium, crypto guy. and uh, and he picked up a lot of stock but then when it came to demac uh, i couldn't get the unit that he really wanted and then somebody from demac managed to get the exact unit <laughs> exact unit so it then it was a masterpiece <laughs> he's happy <laughs> and then when first time andrea met me she was like hey you know what remember you lost this deal <laughs> <laughs> i was kind of very proud of myself <laughs> <laughs> okay So but then since then I think we've been we we got we've doing phenomenal business yeah. and um in Violet we plan to really take a major stake because I think Violet is fanta- fantastic How many product. units did you promise me? 50 is the plan because if that will help me say I'm a demand supply guy yes. if I can control the supply I can control the pricing in the market and then sure. my goal is to pick up stock around 2.2 and 2.4 sell them at 3 make all my investors profit today i made a deal with one of mm, my investors and considering i'm giving you 60 40 payment plan your yeah. exit on handover is amazing one of my investors told me so we can take 50% of the profits just sell it for me <laughs> <laughs> imagine <laughs> okay now for the tough part okay 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 sure. i have so today i've been asking a lot of people okay give me all your n- negatives or all your questions against Demac because I have some Emar. This is always this clash between the titans, right? Emar versus Demac, right? So, question number one. <laughs> Be gentle. E- Emar. <laughs> Emar resonates with safe investment. People trust Emar. Okay. Uh, similarly, Shoba resonates with quality. Shoba Ellington yeah. quality. Demac for me. two things one is brand like mm-hmm. like you pass through downtown you see demac everywhere so any new investor who has come they're like who is emar who is demac right because everywhere is d d d d d d d you know and and who is emar so that brand power hands down i think demac came up with demac was one of the leaders when it came to powerful marketing because yeah. i think then came Azizi, Shoba, these three at one stage were extremely powerful in terms of marketing. So that's one brand, and and two is it's a buffet. <laughs> We have everything for everyone. You, you have a product for everyone, right? Like from Elo to Amali, right? Uh, actually, so if the thing is. is not only having the this diversity as a project okay. we do have that we do have that because we started as a small company Correct. from nowhere 2002 why our chairman is like a visioner he so the opportunity on the market freehold properties then we have to go over there we right. are coming from a catering company and from many other companies before oh, wow, when they okay. started the, the comp- this country started the mark started the mark group started okay Correct. so we have a lot of experience be, uh, behind us now the thing is i believe by the way i was part from an, for another developer for a, some part of my life okay. before joining the mark okay. so is not only putting those kind of projects on the market is how we can pitch those projects and mm. i really feel and i felt that from the beginning the mark has an army when it comes with sales people myself yes. in the same day i sold one of the cheapest units in nila 600 like 630000 i believe yeah. and in the same day utopia 24 million Are you too big about this? Wow, good in job. In the same day. That's insane. That, and that's, that's name, funny. Like, how many people can do that? How many developers can you give you yeah. can give you something on the golf course, luxurious, four levels, private elevator, gym, sauna, jacuzzi, like private uh, parking in the basement, like everything crazy place i took a client to you to a japanese client to utopia he was in love he was to shocked. a japanese i sold it <laughs> yes he japanese so he was in love 
Unfortunately, like I think two days before, I he bought a Fairmont, but then he said he'll go back to the US. He'll come back, and he's very so. Utopia was beautiful. He was very impressed. I was very impressed. It was a beautiful product. So quality. Everyone, <laughs> everyone talks about okay. So so okay. okay Damak is a brand. Damak yes. is a buffet. There's a lot of questions in the market about the quality of Damak. Now all the time, like when you're gonna ask something, this quality compared to what? Mm. Compared to what developer compared sure. to what kind of project? Mm, I know when, at the beginning when they started, like the market started aggressive back then in 2002 because of this freehold, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone was doing the same thing on the market. Everyone was using exactly the same constructions, Correct. which are like made in China, stays made in China. And Correct. that was the reality of the market. If you look back then, like look at the buildings right now in uh, Business Bay, in downtown, in Marina, they are not in the best shape ever. True. They, True. But don't, those guys, they made very good money on the market, right? Okay. It's not about, and I feel that very much in the market, it's not about what we did bad, it's about how we react when we have a problem. Mm -hmm. And we reacted a few years ago when um, we changed completely the management. Okay. Now we have a very fresh power. Uh, we changed completely the construction teams. We changed completely the maintenance management. We really improved. And right now we are heading to the luxurious market. Correct. That means automatically you're going to have a better quality. Now, something changed a few years ago in the city. And you have a very strong and important <laughs> table way how to build in the country right now so everyone has to accept that because otherwise we will not get the certificate of completion from the government so Correct. right now all the time the government gonna be after our life and i'm telling it's like the experience with the mug lagoons which is the best best project that we ever had and that this country had they are coming all the time to see the construction status to check on that to check on that now i get you some other developers may have one a layer extra like, that, that's going to be the only difference as per today quality in the mark. Okay. But I'm giving you such an amazing price. True. Like the price is 40, really 30, between 30 and 50 percent minus per square foot, which is impressive. True. So even if you're going to put some money to add here and there something to personalize your space, you're still going to get something very good. See, you mentioned, so actually I, I had made a video once uh, called CDO, okay? contractor developer operator these three uh, are very important for a good product so you mentioned about contractor that yes there was a time everyone used chinese develop uh, chinese contractors right sure. and i don't want to mention the communities not, not just Damak, but some the, big, lot, some yeah, of the biggest some, some of the biggest developers yeah who i watch for a lot some of the big best everyone communities everyone was doing that that was the reality of the market you know there'd be you'd be surprised some of the most the biggest communities, right? I know there are buildings with how, gypsum walls, gypsum walls, right? And it was shocking for me, myself, you know. So have you changed the contractor? Yes, we did completely. We don't work with those uh, companies anymore. Okay. Now, the biggest achievement that we did when we completely changed the management, uh, we managed to have as contractor Shapurji. You have Shapurji Palaji yes. as a contractor? Yes, and they started to work with us in the Mug Lagoons. The Mug Lagoons is a very strong story on the market because it has this amazing appreciation. Okay. Then it has this amazing concept, which is completely based on other, the base, the most, the biggest community in the world who has this quantity of water as a townhouse is, true, okay? True. Um, and then it's a very good thing for us because right now we are around three months ahead construction and uh, we are working with Shapurji, so... <laughs> this is funny, but you know, it's funny. Uh, I actually made a big video about Shapurji Palunji and the history, the legacy of Shapurji Palunji. I think Shapurji Palunji is one of the best contractors in the world. I mean, some of the project floating bridge, uh, all the Rove hotels, yes. um, Polo homes by Ima, all of the, most of them, uh, Mudon, all by Shapurji Palanji, and, and India, just some of them. Like in India, the uh, biggest cities logistics behind Shapurji Palanji. Shapurji. Operator. So who's your operator for um, in all the demac, the management of the, see, because that's also really important. See, after handing over the property, that's when the real work starts, right? How does, there are some buildings that you go after two years of handover, it looks old and ugly. 
Sure. So who manages uh, the building? So after? basically, we in Amark, we respect the rules of the market. We're going to give um, like a guarantee for one year for everything you, you may need inside, outside. Mm-hmm. And then you're getting that 10 years guarantee, um, by which is by law by default. Okay. We're working with loans. And right now, loans, we improved our like maintenance and how we follow up things. We have a strong team who's taking care of that. The things are getting easier because we hand over in time, okay? And we are trying to improve everything. Um, Now, as I told you, the thing about the mark is the reaction. And for example, what happened what happened a few months ago with the floods? The Mark Hills One and the Mark Hills Two were one of the best communities in terms of management. How we manage everything inside outside, mm-hmm. we didn't have problems like everyone was complaining about quality. True. We had here and there only some leakages, which is normal when you have this big quantity of water. True. We didn't have floods on the street. We had, but we sent the cars four times in a day to pump the water out. So we are trying to adjust. That's actually a very good point because. When when those heavy rains pumped, I didn't have as many complaints from Damak, but I had more complaints from Miras. I know. And DP. I know. So it's... From Damak, you didn't. You didn't have that many like, complaints. It could yeah. be here and there, for example. Yes. Someone will complain about, oh, the quality in G2. Let's be honest. We started that community a few years ago, 2014, mm-hmm. 2015. We started to sell in 650,000. Correct. They have for the full townhouse. Then 700, 750, 800, 900, 1 million, etc. Okay? Correct. Right now, we are like 1.9 million, but we are giving a way bigger space. Absolutely. Right? No, no, absolutely. Now, when I'm giving you something as a villa, as a townhouse, mm-hmm. I will take care of the community. But you have to take care of the, of the villa. I gave you something a few years ago in the middle of the desert. I'm okay with that. It mm-hmm. was in the middle of the desert. Today, things have changed because it's much more convenient to go outside and inside. You'd be surprised. I had a friend. So my friend who I've been working with since 2009. Okay, uh, So she's from Italy. And so she moved to Dubai. She was first living in Dubai Creek Harbor. And now she moved to Damak Hills too. Because, because she has two kids, kids and, and good yeah. prices and everything. She's extremely happy. She and, and, it. and then she made so many friends. So I so I made this video in Damak Hills too. So she introduced me to a friend. And and uh, they were so happy with Damak Hills too. That's when eight caught and my Nadia, attention. Nadia, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nadia. I introduced you tell, already? Tell her. No, we know the story. She was with oh, that yeah, client, oh, right? Again, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, tell so her she, something. Yeah. Tell her something. Even if she's a tenant or she's a buyer, yeah. okay? She's living in the middle of the desert. Correct. I gave her a townhouse that's functional. Yes. Okay? Yes. So, you should take care of the townhouse. Yes. You should make sure the pipes are not blocked with the sand. Yes. And if you do that two, three times in a year, if you're going to have water, you will not have leakages. But when your pipes are blocked with sand and the water is float, floating basically on the rooftop, then you should expect leakages. Okay. So even if someone going to complain about, oh, the mark did that, oh, the mark did that, did you maintain your property? Understood. Did you do something for your property? Some because yeah. my community looks stunning. You are yeah. going to my amenities, they look stunning. Yes. They're very nice, they're functional. So, I do care about my community do you care about your property fair point that's actually a fair point um okay moving on to next question <laughs> a little away. okay yeah yeah no, no you okay so from an 80 20 no negotiation hardcore now i'm surprised you guys also come up with a one percent payment plan 60 40 like, why the change in strategy? Like, why? I mean, you could have stuck because most, most of the top developers, like, let's say, Emar, Miras, they're sticking to the 80-20, right? I think they moved from 90-10. They came to 90-10 in between. Now, they also moved to 80-20. 80-20, yeah. Right? But now, 60-40, 1% payment plan. Any reason? Why? So, basically, there are two big reasons. Okay. First, Damak is a very big um, financial company. Like we have a lot of money in our bank accounts to cover (laughs) everything you want, including if today everyone will stop to pay installments, I still have money to finish all my bid day. And that's very important because whatever going to happen on the market, I can still deliver your product. Mm -hmm. If, If some of my investors will not pay the installments and they will cancel the units, the other one's still going to get the the, the properties. And that's very important, true, okay? True. So Damak has the financial power to do something like that. Then another thing is the market is competitive. 
I'm the biggest private developer. I have a very strong management team behind. Mm -hmm. Okay, you mm -hmm. understand finance, you understand like management. Correct. You know that when I have competition on the market, I have to adjust, I have to be aggressive. Those are the rules I will follow that. Now I'm giving 60-40, but I'm giving 60-40 for a product that's suitable for 60-40. For the apartments in D2, mm -hmm. Elo, I gave 80-20 because they are apartments, more prices. Correct. But for the townhouses, I have to do that. Most of my clients, they are, they are families or they are suitable for families, even if you are coming with your investor, right? He will have and hand over a family that's going to move there 100%. Correct. So he needs a better plan on handover. That's why we are giving that only for D2. Riverside, 75-25. Mm, You're going to our luxurious projects. You go to Bay, go to Casa, go to Canal Crown. You have 80-20, 75-25. If I do have 60, 40, going to be a promotion, but going to be a promotion for the higher ticket size. Understood. You're going for the villas in the Mark Hills one and the golf course. Yeah, I give 60, 40, but they are 18, 15 million plus. Correct. So it makes sense. Understood. Clear. Okay. Right. Now, okay, timely delivery, I think we covered. That was another concern, um, but I think... We are ahead I, construction. <laughs> I, I, I agree. You're By the ahead. way, something very important. Violet. It's under construction. We have more than 10% already done as a construction. Okay. Escrow count is there. SPA is there. Um, everything is going as planned. Delivery June 2026. If you see the villas right now, we will be... We will hand over faster than that. Oh, no. I actually went to the plot. I was surprised. Actually, construction has started. Yeah. So this is what I've mentioned to most of my investors. Construction has already started. Yeah. And so if I... That was my biggest comparison. Like when I compared with other communities, I'm getting handover 2028. Now, I'm a trading guy, so most of my investors were like, okay, if we pick it up as an investor, will I be able to sell it on handover? I'm like, this is the best opportunity because in two years, let's just uh, sell it to somebody like you mentioned who, who wants to maybe take up a, on a mortgage. 100%. Okay. Now, what do you think going to happen? I have a question with, for you. What do you think going to happen in three, four months when the market going to have everything sold out? This is the latest cluster we have. Violet is the latest cluster. Correct. What do you think going to happen with the market? Prices will rise. Because there's no supply. There's no supply. Who is the only ready community? You know, it's funny. You know, when I when Damak caught Damak Hills two caught my attention when I saw Park Greens. I loved Park Amazing Greens. Amazing project. I loved Park Greens. I'm uh, being named the queen of Park Greens in the market. And and and, and you know what? Uh, somebody so uh, a doctor, a 60 year old doctor uh, who's lived all her life in Dubai. So she was one of the first people who told me about Park. Where she was like, uh, I I bought it for myself. I've lived all my life in Dubai. I, it's a beautiful product, you know. And so, and then it caught my attention. I started studying tobaccos too. Since then, I've also sold so many park greens and and and, and the and the spectrum of investors. I mean, like I said, Japanese, European, uh, American, British. It was a beautiful product, you know. It was, and and I think because of such products, definitely even it'll impact products like Natura, Violet. You know, because if that's selling at uh, 3.5, and I think it'll go towards easily a 4.5, 5 million easily, 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 easily. easily. then I can achieve my targets, my planned targets. Basically, with how I was pitching my clients and why I was selling so successfully per grains and like any cluster, but per grains is my favorite. So if I'm giving you something right now, mm -hmm. anything in the Mark Hills to even per grains, Natura Verona, doesn't matter, between 800, 850, they're hump a square foot. That's un unbelievable. Even if I just match the yeah. starting price yeah. from the valley right now, yeah. you're still going to make a lot of money. See, it's funny. So valley, I know the advertising was around 993, the hump a square foot. I but but realistically, I sold at like 1,250, 1,300. Yeah, so that's the pricing. Uh, that's the Because the products I chose uh, to sell at 1,300 the room per square foot. No, my product is going to stay between 800 and 850. So I it's not a big jump. It's fantastic. No, the price, price point, no doubt, price point, you've killed the market. You know why? Mm -hmm. I have a very big uh, difference compared to the other ones. The vision of my CEO, of my chairman. He mm. bought the plot in 12 something dirham per square foot ah, in 2014. Ah, right, so right, now we come to number right. and now it makes sense why the Mark Hills 2 still is still very ah. competitive uh, price wise. You know, that's the point. Because of course. See, I had a lot of people who wanted to invest in plots. So I had some developers from Australia who had come down who wanted to pick up plots. We, were, we do we, have plots. 
we even went to Marjan Island. In Marjan Island, we were offered plots at 250 dirham per square foot. And we were like, this is not going to make sense. What am I going to do if I'm going to build? How, what price do I sell it at? It's going to be very tough for me. Getting plots down the market at a good price is so hard. Yes. So, oh, so that's that makes sense. That's, that's the where vision. the prices. Oh, that's right, the vision. Right. But I started in 2014. Understood. Akoya Oxygen is very far. Anyone loves that. Anyone thought Damak Hills to Akoya Oxygen gonna go this fast? Right. Right now is the most transaction community in the whole Dubai. Is the highest ROI net in the whole Dubai 8%? It is. And it's not because I'm saying that. There are the reports from the government. You know, and then something actually you you had actually pointed out to me that uh, scenic route, Al Sale scenic route. Yes. It's actually near Damak Hills too. Yeah. I I actually mentioned that uh, in in a video. Just today I was mentioning yep. that in a video, and then the fact that so there's Damak Hills too. There's Imar's Valley, and then Mira Spot plots. And Shoba. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, and Shoba's also there, right? I show you. Oh, you yeah, remember yeah, that yeah, morning when I said you? Yes. By the way, my yes. Mira's already yes. right. I think I'm the first one who saw yes. that. Everyone knows, knows now. So this is actually like a suburban concept where you invest in the suburbs, but then after all the development that's going to happen around, your property value is going to appreciate. It's yes. pretty straightforward.